Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to discuss a popular composition for photographers, which is the rule of thirds. Now, with the rule of thirds, you have grid lines, which you can use as a guide, either from your camera or when you're cropping an image. So you place your subject on either one of the two vertical lines coming down, or you can place your subject on one of the horizontal lines going across. Or you can place your horizon on either the top line or the bottom line, like in this image. So the, the gentleman is placed on the left hand vertical line and the horizon is placed using the top horizontal line. So apparently that's more aesthetically pleasing if you're looking at this image. It's, it's more pleasing to the eye if you get your subject lined up with those third lines. So here is an image of a, a landscape, um, a reflection of the landscape in the water. But you can see in this image that the mountain is in the, on this line here. So you've got the grid lines, you've got two grid lines going down up vertically and you've got two horizontal grid lines going across. and. Um, what this does is it splits the image into nine rectangles and for photographers to create interest it is advised by some to have the the place that you think is the most interesting on these grid lines either the one going down on that side or the one on this side so this mountain is placed on this grid line going down the horizon is often favoured to be either the bottom line or the one going across at the top. So you can actually crop your image so that you can get the grid lines in the right place. So this is using Photoshop. So for example, if I want that horizon to be near, I don't want to cut off the whole reflection of that mountain. But if I want the horizon to be near that grid line, I can crop it like that. And by doing that, you can make it more pleasing to the eye. So let's have a look at another image. So I have this other image here. This is a man taking a selfie of him and this lady he's with. So to in Photoshop, you can go onto the crop tool here in the top left here and then if you click on the these you can either click on any one of these to have a look at the compositions and then if you click out of it in the black space it shows you the grid line here so we can make this more pleasing to the eye by lining this man's face up with this grid line and the horizon if possible so if we slide this along so we crop it so we get the center of his face bang in the middle of that line and we can also crop it so the horizon is near enough on this line as well so if we crop it there we've made it more aesthetically pleasing doing that so that's the second image. Let's have a look at this other image. So this image is a butterfly on a flower. So we've got it on crop here in the in the top and then I'm going to click on this grid rule of thirds and then click out of it. And you can see the butterfly is positioned on this grid line here. So you, if you wanted to, you could actually move this further along, but you don't want to clip the wings off. Um, and you can crop it so it's uh, let's just crop this further down like this what I'm trying to do is get the eye of the insect on that grid line but I'm not able to do that I could do it if I stretch the image like that pull this down I could actually instead of pulling that down I could lift this up so that cross is directly on the line, but I don't want to trim any of the petals off. So that would be perfect. But look, we've got an empty space here. But in Photoshop, they have got a very good um, 
content aware tool here so if I wanted to crop it and if there's not much detail in the image in this space it should be able to fill in the gaps so to get that to work you have to have this content aware ticked and then you just press return on your keyboard and you can see the little circle is working and it's just stretched it there so it's stretched the image out so now if we go onto the rule of thirds and click outside of the box you can see that cross is almost on his eye I can't bring this down a little bit more or oh, actually I could take it up a bit further so it's a bit a bit more near to his eye like that so because there's not a lot of space in this part of the image, it should be able to fill in those gaps. Sometimes it goes wrong. Let's just press return and see what happens. There you are. So now if we click in that space, you can see the cross is directly on his eye. <clears throat> if you can do it in camera, I mean, using the grid lines on your camera, if you can do it in camera, then you wouldn't need to um, try to get it to work out, you know, post-process it. So that image now should be more aesthetically pleasing to the human eye because that uh, insect's eye is directly on that intersection point on the grid line in the rule of thirds. And here's another image. If we just click outside of it, you can see the photographer wanted to get the glass, the wine glass, as the main, because it, it, it intersects on this line here. So the photographer wanted deliberately to get this wine glass on this line. But also the lady's eye is very close to this point as well. So that's the rule of thirds. It's not a rule that all the photographs have to be on the rule of thirds, but it is one thing to consider when, you th when you're thinking of composing your image. Thank you for watching this video. Until the next one, bye for now.